In a world where evil prevails, a cold, cruel world blanketed by darkness, a world full of crooks, liars, thieves, murderers, rapists, child molesters, corrupt, wicked politicians, and all manner of wickedness, it would seem that all hope is lost. Where are the good guys who would stand up and fight for the weak, the poor, and the downtrodden? Hi, I'm Utah Taylor, the smooth one. Hi, this is Lincoln Bain, the fireman. I know some homos out here. They're very good at what they do. Controversy TV, Season 2. Good night, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Controversy TV. Shocking news just got in. Former TV anchor Rita Cosby was caught up in an altercation with the host of Controversy, Mr. Lincoln Bain. I repeat, Miss Rita Cosby was caught up in an altercation with the host of Controversy TV, Mr. Lincoln Bain. Before we take you live to that scene, we will go back two days before to a live interview that Miss Cosby did with the Controversy team. Today's show is brought to you by The Audio Plus, your musical store. The Hit Spot. Uniform Depot. Quick Kicks. Love Yourself. Signature Dream Weddings. Changing the outlook of weddings forever. Nitro Film Records. Breaking sound barriers faster than the eyes can see. Trendsetters, name brand fashion, and obsessions. Indulge in your pleasures. Epic Battery, ever producing instant current. Price Busters, savings and a smile in every eye. Ideal Auto, tinting and accessories. Rita Cosby. Hi guys, and, and I would be honored to call either one of you my boyfriend, truly. Wow. And, and ladies, by the okay. way, Utah smells great, ladies. I want you to know that too. When I gave him a hug when I saw him, I, I, can, I can attest. So in other words, Utah smells great and I don't. No, 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 no. You smell wonderful. Yeah, okay, like okay. fresh spring, you're like a fresh mountain. <laughs> it's great right. to be with you guys it's here. It's great to be here. It's fantastic. I've been watching a lot of your material and a lot of the interviews that you've done. Wow, all um, the way in New York? Yeah, absolutely. With the Annie's and, and I thought you guys have done some very powerful interviews, really Thanks. powerful stuff and, and, and interesting stuff and important stuff for the island. Wow. So I commend you on a lot of the things you've done. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so you're here because you wrote a new book, mm -hmm. a new devastating book. You so know. some people say. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is Jaws. <laughs> you know, this is worse than Jaws. Jaws causes, causes you to not want to go into the water. This one causes you to not want to date your lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and almost have a baby with it. <laughs> and hopefully it's already had a good impact. I mean, I'm so happy, you know, as I'm coming here to the Bahamas, uh, and in my book, in, in Blonde Ambition, the untold story behind Anna Nicole Smith's, which unfortunately uh, it's not available here in bookstores, but it is available online at Amazon mm -hmm. and Borders. And Don't worry about that. Going to Miami for Bahamians is like going oh, perfect, downtown. perfect. Piece of cake. <laughs> yes. Piece of cake. That's nothing. But in my book, we talk a lot about sort of the whole climate and talk a lot about the Bahamas. And one of the goals, the reason I wrote this book, was I'm a big believer, as you guys are, in justice. Mm. And I'm a huge believer in that. And I was praying that as a result of my book, that maybe there'd be some movement in Anna Nicole Smith's case and her death, mm -hmm. which I think there's still a lot of unanswered questions, and also in the death of Daniel Smith, mm. um, the son, you know, who died, her 20-year-old son, seemingly, you know, healthy guy, dies here mysteriously after a few hours. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy to hear, not too long ago, as you guys know all too well, mm -hmm. um, that the inquest is now going to schedule 
start on October 30th, which finally, I thought was... Which finally. I, yeah, finally, after a year. You yeah. know, it's been interesting, us watching it from America, mm -hmm. to see that it has taken that long, and to see all the roadblocks that have happened mm -hmm. along the way mm -hmm. is stunning. So and how does that make the Bahamas look? When you do you feel it backwards? I mean, how does it make us look? Well, I think on one hand, and I can say this because I've talked to a number of Bahamian officials, I feel like they're trying. I do feel there are some Bahamian officials who really want to see justice and just want to have the facts out there. And wherever the facts fall, they want to give it a fair airing. And I think that that's you could that you can't expect anything mm -hmm. more than that. On the other hand, I also am surprised at all the hurdles that have happened. And even in the case of Howard K. Stern, I mean, him first disputing the two different magistrates, you know, mm -hmm. Linda Virgil. And and then the second one. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the latest, you know, saying that he didn't like the grand jury process. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us in America are saying, well, wait a minute, he's just a witness in this case. Mm -hmm. um, how can a witness sort of create all mm -hmm. these sort of legal roadblocks? Mm -hmm. It is sort of surprising. Mm -hmm. Usually that's for somebody who's, you know, who's, who's you know, totally on the hot seat there, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and he's a witness among other people. Of course, there's a lot of questions about him, and certainly there's a lot of focus on him in this. But we are really surprised. And I think the fact that the Bahamian government is doing it now on October 30th, I think that that is going to, if there has been any criticism, I think hopefully that will quell that of the Bahamian government. Mm -hmm. Because I think a couple of people have been saying, how could they allow this to keep going on and mm -hmm. keep getting delayed? And I think it'll it'll definitely reflect well on them if they go forward on October 30th. And if they let the fall, you know, the facts fall where they may and do a fair airing and really ask, you know, appropriate questions of people too. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, us looking at the story, and as I put in my book, Blonde Ambition, there's so many different layers to the story that, you just kind of go, well, wait, these facts don't seem quite right. We're missing something in the story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I hope that they don't just put people on the stand and just gratuitously put them on the stand. Yeah. I hope that they really make sure they go to the heart of what, what they have to say. Well, Rito, um, for the Bahamian public out there, a lot of people, they see you on MSNBC, on Fox, and always doing your stuff. But I have to investigate you. <laughs> for the Bahamian people out there who don't know all, Rita is single. She has mm -hmm. no husband. Mm -hmm. She has no children. Mm. And she was born in Brooklyn. There you go. The, the, the tough streets of Brooklyn. You've read up, and my favorite color is red or blue, you know, yes. just in case you want to know. Um, and, you know, and I, I've, I guess I've come a bit of a long way from Brooklyn, but I feel like I've had to put my Brooklyn boxing gloves on uh, after this book, too, with all the, <laughs> you know, all the fireworks coming from Burkhead and Stern and everybody else. Yes. Um, but, uh, but I've also loved this country, too. And I think that part of the reason I wanted to also be on with both of you guys is that I've had such an attachment to the Bahamas over the years. I opened up the Junk Canoe years ago. Oh, you may not oh. know that. And I've spent a lot of time coming here on vacation and visiting friends, and it's just, it's been a place that I love. Okay. So I, I very much care about the Bahamas looking good mm -hmm. and, and being uh, treated appropriately in the press. And it really saddened me, you know, when I was coming all the court cases, you know, in the heat of it all, I guess in March it was. And I remember in February and March when I was here constantly, I remember constantly a lot of the journalists here were coming over to me and saying, is this another Aruba? Are we going to look like Aruba? Mm -hmm. You know, referring to the Natalie Holloway yeah. case. And do we look like a country that's sort of blowing off justice and doing all these other things? And I said to them at that point, and I do believe this today, um, that I said, no. I feel like there have been some other, maybe there's been some questions of why they accepted some roadblocks and other certain things. But I do feel overall this government really is dedicated. And I feel the Bahamas in general, there's some good people here. I mean, I didn't get the sense of it was this you know, ultimate, ultimate collusion. But I do also think that it's important that this inquest, that mm -hmm. the whole world is going to be watching now. You know, after the book and after everything, there was so much focus. And we did a lot of stories in the U.S. when the inquest was announced. Mm -hmm. And so everyone's going to be watching to see if it gets delayed for another time. But um, tell, yeah. me, tell me a little bit about your book. What is this book about? It's about the truth. And it's about something that I think, you know, I've been watching you guys, too, that, you know, you guys are big believers in making sure that whoever it is is, is able to speak out and that maybe some people who, you know, haven't had a voice up until now have a voice. Mm -hmm. And in my case, it's about talking about the facts, too. We've got some amazing facts in the book about calls that Howard K. Stern made calls on his cell phone that he made um, mm -hmm. soon after Anna Nicole Smith died. Come on, that I can't be true. That's eyebrows. true? It's true. Who would he be calling? It's true. Well, this is He was calling the police. This is, I, look, I love your sarcasm because <laughs> this is interesting. 249, Anna Nicole Smith is pronounced dead. Today's show is brought to you by The Audio Plus, your musical store. The Hit Spot. Uniform Depot. Quick Kicks. Love Yourself. Signature Dream Weddings, changing the outlook of weddings forever. 
Nitro Film Records, breaking sound barriers faster than the eyes can see.